Hello guys, welcome to PC Drills where you find help on how to handle your PC related issues. Today we continue with our algorithm and programming language chapter. Today we are seeing lesson 4, flowchart and algorithm example 1. So we do our first example. Our objectives for today is A, to see similar words in algorithm, B, part of an algorithm, C, question, D, algorithm for the question, and the flowchart for the question, and F, we we'll see an assignment. So it will just be something easy for you who is following up to be able to do it. So A, a similar word that you need to recall. In programming, some words are very similar to others, but it does not mean you should just take random words since they look like synonyms. So what I mean here is if you see the word print somewhere or you see the word write or you see the word display, they mean the same thing. Maybe you wish to display the contents of a variable called A. If you display A this way, you will do the same thing as you writing it this way, print A. Or you do it this other way, write A. So these three, set, uh, three words, one, two, and three, are these statements for algorithm, they all mean the same thing. Same with these other ones here for read. We have get, read, input. They all mean the same thing. The difference between these words down, this second part, with this other one up. The difference is that these ones up are used to display to the user or to show something to the user. But these ones down are used to like receive input that the user can give the computer. So for example, if you wish to display maybe, how are you, you write using one of these statements. You can use write, you can use print, you can use display. So you just put display in bracket, how are you, put it in quotes. Or you use print in bracket, how are you, or you use write in bracket, how are you. You don't need to do all of them. You choose one and do it. You mean the same thing as choosing the other one. So if one person writes his own program using display, another person writes using print, another person writes using this write, all of them, so far as they wanted to display something to the user, these three mean the same thing. And if you write maybe display, how are you? And you wish the program to respond, the user to respond with I'm fine or fine, okay, anything. You need to use get or use read to take something that the user will input into your program. For example, maybe you are calculating the sum of two numbers. You, you display input number one. To get that number one from the user using the program, you use either get or read. After you take in number two, display number two, input number two, print number two, write number two. And to get the value of the number two from the user, use get or use read. I hope it's understood right up to this level. Let's move on to our parts of the algorithm. For parts of an algorithm, you have the name of the algorithm, which is the first part. The second one is a list of variables. Generally, it is when you have variables that you do this. If you don't have a list of variables, you can omit this particular one. Next, you have the begin statement and you have all the code of your program in between the begin statement and finally the end statement. So, for example, if our algorithm is to maybe greet, maybe you are greeting a user, maybe the name of your algorithm is greet. We start with something like this algorithm
so for example this small algorithm i've written here is just to show you these various parts here you have algorithm the first line algorithm is first line you have algorithm grid so i've put algorithm i've put the name of the algorithm i've just called it grid you can use any word you can call the algorithm any word but if you want to add many words usually you put underscore so instead of grid maybe you wanted to put grid me two words i'll have to put an underscore and i'll add the second word after the underscore now it is grid me two words i cannot put the grid and i put space i put me it has to be something joint that's why you put underscore to differentiate next you put variables and you list your variables in this program i don't have any variables that's why i just put variables and put empty space if i had variables maybe a b c i can now put them inside my list of variables at this level i just wish to show you how it works i put a b c comma if they are integers i put colon and i put integers there's no space if not i'll spell fully integers and i put the begin statement so after the name of the algorithm you have the variables you have the begin statement and you have all your code here is just to print hello remember i told you print is the same as write and it's the same as display so if i also put display hello it means the same thing i also put write in bracket quotes hello it means the same thing so this print here can be replaced with display it can also be replaced with write after writing all your code inside begin and end you now put the final line which is end hopefully it's understood up to this level we will do more examples for you to understand and in the level of these variables we'll do another video to explain variables so if you don't understand what's going on at this level don't worry just follow up and the next videos we'll do one just to show you what they are variables so the question we are doing today it says write an algorithm to display the phrase good morning to all pc drills subscribers that is all about what our program should do so first thing you need to understand the, the what the question wants you to do it says write an algorithm so what we know here is we are writing an algorithm you have said that to display meaning that you are showing something out you are printing something you are showing displaying something to the user so they say display and they'll say they are displaying a phrase display the phrase and i've given you the particular phrase that you wish to you have to display so first thing is we are writing an algorithm we are displaying something and i've given us the thing that we are supposed to display for this same question we'll do both the algorithm and we do the flowchart So the algorithm for the question will be something like this. The first one we said we write the name of the algorithm. I have here the name. I have the name of the algorithm. I've put the name to be algorithm to display a phrase. So you see algorithm, just the word and the name of the algorithm. Next, we have the begin and start. Since we don't have any variables here, which is similar to the other one that we just did have begin and start with no variables if we had variables we'll put them before begin and start but we'll do other examples that have variables for you to see next we have all our code inside the begin and start you can see there's a space there's a space given in between here begin and algorithm they are on the same line but you see there's a space given here be before the start of this statement of print good morning to all pc drill subscribers in programming we call this indentation just keep it in mind 
you need to be using it to show that this one comes inside this and this one and this they are on the same level after printing all we have to do is put our end statement as simple as that name of algorithm on the first line variables on the next but since there are no variables you omit it next you have begin or start so if i put here begin or if i put start the same thing here we have print this is a programming keyword so for algorithm we have print somewhere it means something something special so you can have print write display both will mean the same thing so i've just put in quotes Good morning to all PC Drill subscribers. All the time I have print, you must have this uh, brackets. This brackets. And inside the bracket, you have what you want to display to the user. If it's just words or letters, you put your quote and you put it. But if it's a variable, you omit this quote and just put the name of the variable in the bracket. And you have here N. Sometimes you can also have instead of N, another person can put stop. But I will just wish to let you know that N and stop will mean the same thing. So it's just like here you have begin and start. Another person can put but N instead of stop. Another person will put stop instead of N. So you can put begin here up, you put N down, put start up, you put stop. Same thing. But you don't need to put both. I'm putting both for the sake of explanation so that I can understand what you can do, what their chances are, what you can do and what you cannot do. So this is all about the algorithm. Right now it might be confusing but I hope you understand because it is still our first program. And if you don't really understand anything going on it means that maybe you did not start with the first video and right up to this moment you are still in doubt and if you had issues with the other videos and you haven't asked the question you will keep on doubting till you finally get a chance to ask next we have a flowchart for the same question for flowchart you use word symbols the other day we talked about the flowchart symbols we had a sphere that deals with the begin and end statements so this flowchart is the same as this algorithm behind so for this algorithm for flowchart you don't usually put the name of the flowchart like this but I can see put the name of the flowchart before starting the algorithm so for example the name here was algorithm to display a phrase so I can just put flowchart to display a phrase just put it above it is ha not having any special symbol to display the name of the flowchart so for flowchart you just put a name above and for an algorithm you really put the word algorithm and you put the name here you have start or begin you have our code in bracket in the next shape for the first shape is to put start or stop begin and end means the same thing so these are alternatives you can use stop or use end you can use start or use begin don't use both both here just for you to understand what you have as chances next you have this right in bracket good morning to all pc drills subscribers and it is inside this parallelogram shape Remember we talked about flowchart symbols or shapes. There was a parallelogram. And we said the parallelogram is to either display something or get something from the user of that program. So if I want to display something, I use this symbol. If I want to get something from the user, it's the same symbol I will use. The other symbol that was a rectangle was simply just to do calculations. So for example, A is equal to, let's say, 1 plus 2, which is 3. We use by this 
we use with this rectangle symbol but if you are displaying something to the user I use with a parallelogram hopefully it's clear if it's not clear you go back and watch the previous video lesson 3 on flowchart symbols next we have this assignment this assignment here we are just to write an algorithm to print the days of the week from Monday to Saturday coming back to this you see here that we have write good morning to all PC Drill subscriber is one line so we display this so if you are writing an algorithm like for this assignment that is from Monday to Saturday you draw one box to put Monday you draw another one after you put the arrow you draw the next box Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and so on for the algorithm at this level you put begin print you put print Monday print Tuesday print Wednesday Thursday Friday and you follow up to where the program asks us to end so you can see that for the assignment you see write an algorithm what is it doing printing to print days of the week and we have said that it's from Monday to Saturday so our program is printing just Monday to Saturday although days of the week are from Monday to Sunday so when you are answering any question follow what the question says if it's Monday to Sunday good and fine if it's Monday to Saturday or mid Sunday you must not do as you wish so let me show you how this program works right now we have just been explaining things in the air I have a software here that helps me to solve a flowchart using a particular software it also does with algorithms so our program that we wrote the flowchart let me just show you the flowchart part this is a flowchart I drew for this program for this particular exercise we are handling now and this is the equivalent of the same flowchart so you see here right you see here right you have the start and end you see the shape right hello to all PC drills subscribers this is how this software works in a flowchart this is what you are writing if you are to use this software to test out what you have written this is a software the name is called lap l a r p so i just come and choose the shapes over here on the left i have all the shapes if i run this program as it is to run it i just click the execute which is like a play button just put execute you say i was interrupted this is because of errors and you see that the keyword cannot be used in the context of reference all this I think here I need to put my quotes I just come here and I edit this double click so right now I've edited the program no more errors I've put my bracket and I've put my quotes so you put your quotes very similar to what we have here the only difference is that it is well structured no much differences here you just have right here you also have right here you have start and end same thing so if I run this program at this level I just click I just click on execute and you see hello to all PC drills subscribers as simple as that that's all about programming and it's very useful when you make your program and try to test it so if you have for example the assignment I gave you that you need to do and see how it works and remember when you are through if you are using this software they say press any key to close console so I just need to press any key maybe enter space a b c anything but if i click here to close you just show me that press any key will not close i'm just letting you know so that if you run this program you will not be closing it here and it's not closing 
followed by the instructions to press any key to continue. So for the other one, I gave you as an assignment. I will explain to you how it works using this software. And you are going to do this part. You draw it and then you write the flowchart. You start with the algorithm and next you draw the flowchart. Once done, you can forward it to us, maybe through email just to show that you are working or any any other means. So without you doing any exercises, all you learn here will not stick. As, as is here is just the basic stuff. We understand that it's very simple. We wish to know if you are following up and you understand what we are doing so far. So you will do your own assignment, which is to write a program an algorithm that displays just days of the week. Remember, it's starting just from Monday to Saturday. So actually, Sunday will not be part of your program. Keep that in mind. So if you put Sunday in your program, just know that you have made an error. You are out of topic. You do not follow the instructions. Okay. Let me do it using the other diagram, the other software. Let me do it using this software. And you see how I do it using this software. But what I need from you is not for you to do it using this software. So, I need to print back Monday to Saturday. I don't need to print hello to all PC Drill subscribers. So, I just edit what is there and continue. Instead of putting hello to all PC Drill subscribers, I'll wipe it and i put back Monday. And I click OK. That's how this software works. To put the next one, you remember to display it is this parallelogram symbol. So I take the parallelogram. This is the rectangle for calculations. This is a parallelogram for display. I see here input and output when you hover over with the mouse. You see input and output. All I need to do is drag and drop where I'm supposed to add it. I'm supposed to add it under this right statement, but before the end. I just drag it to the separation between the right and end. It adds it here. You can see it's very small. All I need to do is double click and choose what I wish to do. Do I wish to read something? No, but I wish to display Tuesday. I've already displayed Monday. Now I wish to display Tuesday. All I have to do is display inside the column for right. I put my quotes, my bracket and quotes I put Tuesday. I take OK. I put my Monday. I put my Tuesday. If you want to test the program, just come and click here on Execute. You can see Monday, Tuesday. Both of them have been displayed without any errors. So my program is good to go. I just continue. And I have Monday and Tuesday. I do the same thing for Wednesday. I take the symbol that can do input and output and add it under where I have the dot where I'm supposed to put it I just drag and drop double click where I have the right since I'm displaying something instead I put my open bracket I put my quotes and I put Wednesday since I've already done Monday Tuesday so now is Wednesday and I take after putting my Wednesday, I close the quotes, close the bracket, and I take OK. Now I've done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If I test it, you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all good, no errors. I put Enter. Let me do it for the next Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good. I believe you are through with our program. Let me drag this down for you to see the whole program since it's becoming longer and there's no space. You can see from here, we have the start, we have right various right statements just to display. This is what I basically want you to do, but I wish for you to repeat it so that you do it and show me I see that you are following up. If you have any errors, it's easier to correct. Just watching a video will not help you. But when you try something on your own, that is when you understand better. 
So I have here right. I have start for the beginning and end for the last step of the program. So I begin and I end. These two statements, one, two, they must always be there. You cannot start, you cannot write an algorithm or anything or any flowchart without having the start and having the end. It's like you don't know when the program starts and when it ends. Generally, all programs should have a beginning and an end. So, right here, we're dealing just with this symbol, the parallelogram, for the input and output. All of these other symbols, they have their own uses. But we have not yet reached this particular level, so don't bother about them. All you can do here or use is just this one and two, the first two. But this one is to display or get input from the user. If you are doing any calculations, it is this one that you choose. I will just show you one more thing before we execute and see how it runs. If I omitted something here with this software, if I omitted something, maybe between Monday and Tuesday, maybe there's public holiday or Friday. Let's just say that that's an error I made. For me to add it, I just drag it and put it where I have to add something in between Monday and Tuesday I just bring it there where there's a dot and I can add another statement so that's just what I wish to show you but we did not make any error our days of the week are okay so to remove it I just click on it as it's highlighted I click on delete I just press the delete key on my keyboard so this is the program I want you to write Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday simple what i need for you to produce the algorithm and produce this same flowchart if you like do copy work if you like try to reason it out on your own another person can put right put monday comma tuesday wednesday the same thing all i wish you to see is for you to do something to show that you are not just wasting your time and trying to like follow up without putting in any effort so if I click here to run you can see here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday no problem it has finished press any key to continue and if you make errors with this particular software maybe instead of completing because with printing to print anything let me just write this in this other square but this is not what you are supposed to write I just wish to show you something when you are printing something that's just a letter or words you just come and put these quotes after putting the bracket you put the quotes and you put what you wish to put inside anything anything that you put inside can be displayed remember this is the read box i'm just showing you what you can do like for example i've put here saturday instead so i can put saturday it depends if it's saturday that i want it but if it is a variable when you say a variable instead of us putting the quotes i remove the quotes and just put the variable name where you maybe it was a maybe it's a and b you'll put a comma b maybe it was f maybe it was h and so on that's just something i wish for you to see but we'll reach other levels soon for the moment this is all about our program and this is all about the assignment. Try to do this assignment and try to send it to me. We have the email right under the video. We have various places you can contact us, Facebook and so on. No matter what you do, just try to send to show that you are following up. So that will be all about the course today. And once we receive many assignments to show that many people follow up, to we'll continue with the lesson and do another example that can take something from the user and do some calculations with it. Thank you for watching. If you are wondering how you can send us the assignment, we have Facebook, which is the most convenient way. On, on YouTube here, is, you can already send stuff. On Twitter, you can and on telegram also you can well, well what i wish for you to use is the email 
if you can go to and find if you can't then just follow up other people will do their assignment and see you next time on our next video if it was useful may you like subscribe share if it wasn't useful please leave a comment and let us know what went wrong and remember this channel is for teaching those that are not good at computers this channel is not for teaching experts pc dress is to help those who are still learning not to help experts thank you for watching and see you next time on our next video bye